Hello, I'm Jason Nace, Managing Director of Gala Tent, and I'd like to introduce you to our PVC Gala Tent. So what makes our PVC so unique is the quality, of course. Uh, no other company uh, in the sector is producing the quality of our PVC. Can you get a close-up of this? So if you look at the, the quality of our PVC, you can't stretch that, whereas others on the market, they just stretch and they're quite porous. It's very, very different, not to be mistaken for any cheap quality. And the, also, if you can just get this on, the, uh, the Dutch lacing is a big selling feature. Now, with, with this particular Dutch lacing, it's heavy duty Velcro, as you can see there. And then that velcros into place very heavy duty double stitch joints plus there's the commercial dutch lacing and you can see it as well on here probably a little bit clearer uh, on the doorway so the scalloped edges on it um, add a really nice touch for the look um, even the quality down to the the brass eyelets i mean the, it's just commercial quality you don't get that anywhere else other than Gala Tent. Um, on every every one of our side panels, you've got a window blind for privacy. So you're going to black out any of the areas you can do. And they fit very snugly with Velcro each side. I'm really pleased with this design, it's, it's great. Uh, also, um, we've got a 1.2 mil thick uh, steel frame. Others on the market are usually 0.9 or 1 millimeter. The difference being, this is not going to bend easily, whereas the others will. They're basically uh, a superstar kind of product. We have hundreds of higher companies making a living out of this particular product, so it has to be really high-end quality. Another feature of our gala tent is the ground bars. The ground bars keep it very rigid uh, and it keeps the sidewalls taut on the outside. They are an option. You can anchor these down with pegs uh, as well on the corners and every meter um, for even more stability. Um, other features of our product is all the um, canopies are all welded. So all the PVC is welded together. Uh, another reason why we actually put, just coming back to the um, Dutch lacing, another reason why Dutch lacing is so effective uh, is because zips don't bode very well on PVC. Um, they kind of come apart and they tear, the, the lifespan's very short. Um, and a lot of our competitors don't even bother putting zips in uh, because of that fact. So with the heavy duty Velcro and the, uh, the Dutch lacing just makes it super quality. So that's a little bit of a brief for our PVC. Comes in sizes uh, from as little as a 3v2, which this is right up to uh, a 6 meter by 24 meter. Uh, the most popular size being that being our 6x12. Uh, the 6x12 structure is 3.7 meters high. Uh, it's very high. You just get a, a glance of that, Nathan. So you can see the height difference on these two structures. This will be a 3 meter height, which our competitors, that's the height of their structure. Now, our competitors. Um, Manufacture a six meter structure only in a three meter height simply to save on costs. It's not a very safe structure and it looks awful. So, if you see the height here inside of a six meter structure, um, it makes all the difference. But to manufacture a six meter, uh, 3.7 meter high structure, it's obviously more steel and it's more material, but it's also a lot safer and a lot engineered to be a lot stronger. There's a specific reason why it's 3.7 and that's for engineering stability and for the long life. Um, anywhere that's doing them three meters, that's just safe costs on materials, simple as that.
So we do a little bit of a porch here as well on the on the goal tent. Now this was originally designed why it's why this particular shape it butts up onto uh, the back of the house so you can come out of the house and you can, you can walk into the tent. Um, but this is a great little structure on its own. Um, it would double up as a standalone structure for a little trade stand, you know, a ticketing booth. You know, it's got multiple purposes. I really like the structure. Um, so, there you go, a little bit of an insight into the Gartab Marquis. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you're watching us on YouTube, make sure you subscribe because we'll be posting a lot more videos shortly.